guys. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I spent my weekend at WonderCon, which is a comic video game movie convention here in San Francisco. It's done by the same people that do Comic Con. Um, I spent most of my time interviewing different celebrities for movies coming out. Um, probably the main one was I got to interview the guy that just got cast as a new Superman in Zack Snyder's Superman. So, that was really cool. But I did get to do some shopping, which was really always fun. Um, let's see, I got the Jason Voorhees Living Dead doll. I got some more Mario plushies. Um, I got some prints, like some art prints. Let me show you those. Um, this one is by far my favorite. It's Cammie, and she's hot. And then I got Stay Puffed carrying a very sexy Ghostbuster. And from the same artist, her name is Lori B, if you want to look her up. The Art of Lori B is her website. Very, very sexy Princess Leia in the classic Marilyn Monroe pose. And, of course, Jessica Rabbit. Probably, though, my most prized possession of the convention is the replica of Malcolm Reynolds' gun from Firefly. Woo! Pretty awesome. This is my favorite thing. Oh, and I also got a really cute Yoda robe. It's like a robe, and you put and I put the hoodie on. I have little Yoda ears. It's really adorable. But, yeah, that's pretty much what I did all weekend. I might sound a little like my nose is stuffy, and I might be sniffly, and I apologize for that. I am so allergic to nature. And um, it's been really sunny this weekend, this past few days, so I've been spending as much time as I can outside trying to get some sun. Um, you probably can't tell, but I have my bikini on under this because I've been out sunning myself. But I, um, yeah, I'm allergic to nature, so I've been sneezing like crazy. Mostly allergic to pollen, but seriously, I'm allergic to anything natural. Like, even natural soaps and lotions, completely allergic to them. So that's why I'm an indoors kind of girl. Last letters video, I asked you guys a question for a change and wanted to get your answers and your feedback. And the question was, if you could live in any video game, what would it be? But one of the stipulations was, if you lived in this video game, you had to follow by video game rules. You couldn't make up your own, I want to live in this video game, but that wasn't part of the deal. You had to live by the video game rules. So some of my favorites were um, Joker Bunny 666 and Grand Theft Auto. I could see how that could be fun. You know, I could drive around, wreck a car, and really not get hurt, and I just eat a hamburger, and I'm all better. That definitely sounds good to me. Um, there are a lot of Pokemons, a lot of Fallout, which is weird. Why would you want to live in Fallout? You've got weird, like, they're not zombies. They're, they're like, I can't remember what they were called. But they were basically people that had just been, you know, eaten alive or just gone crazy because of the radiation. That doesn't sound fun to me, especially the fact of no running water, no electricity, and there's no soap or anything, so everybody kind of stinks. I don't know, Fallout, not fun. And a lot of other people said Hyrule, of course, which is from Zelda, which I can understand that as well. Um, Bam121, Zonka Noomber, USS Reagan, all said Red Dead Redemption. That's another one I'm not quite too sure about. Red Dead Redemption, again, no running water, no electricity. Only the rich people can, can get deodorant or soap or toothpaste or perfumes. Everybody's kind of stinky. I don't even know if they really, like, had official razors back then. Like, were the girls even shaving their legs? Like, think about it. Come on. Do you really want to date a chick that doesn't shave her legs, doesn't use deodorant, or have soap? I don't think so. So Red Dead Redemption... Might be not a good idea. Also, Turin Guards at Playboy the Mansion. Hmm. I can see that being actually pretty nice. Only if you specify that you would be half. Because if you weren't half, you wouldn't be getting many of the girls. <laughs> Catastrophic said Little Big Planet. That could be a lot of fun. Geodude said Bioshock. But he was smart and said pre-Fall of Rapture. I, yeah, I could definitely live in Rapture before all the shit goes down. That would be pretty nice. But after a while, I would probably start to get a little cabin fever and need to get out of there. I'd get pretty claustrophobic living under the sea for a while. But I think it would be cool. And my all-time favorite would definitely go to Beat Town MW2, Mario Sunshine. Hell yeah, you live on a beach. That would be awesome. My personal answer to the question is DOA Beach Volleyball. Let's see, I get to hang out with chicks in bikinis all day. We're on a resort, a beach resort, where we can lay out by the pool, play pool games, do photo shoots, or go inside to our sweet-ass hotel and go gambling. Not to mention that people dropped off gifts for me every night. Okay, 
That sounds like the best place for me. So my answer would definitely be DOA Beach Volleyball. So this week's question is going to be, if you could be any video game character, any video game character, who would it be and why? And again, you have to think realistically here. You can't, you know, make up superpowers or anything, and you have to live by the rules of the video game that character has, and you have you are limited to the powers of that video game character. So yeah, leave in the comments who, which character you would be, if you could be any video game character, and why. So that's that. Let's get to your questions. Kevin asks, how was it for you when you were little? Were your parents very supportive of your gaming? Were they gamers, or they let you game as much as you wanted to? My parents were, they supplied me with my games and my systems, of course. I mean, I started out when my dad brought home an Atari 2600, kind of think he got it for himself, and I just kind of overtook it. And um, after that, they always supplied me with my game systems, because I was always doing good in school. Okay, not really good. I was more like a B, B to C student. But at least I was getting my work done. At least I was passing. And I had, you know, I was going to college for the forensic specialists and everything. So it wasn't really that I was trying to get into gaming. I really just kind of stumbled into it. I never really thought that I could work in games. Because growing up, there wasn't really game press. You were either a developer or an artist, and that was it. And I didn't have a desire to do either. So when games press really started happening, I think it was a few years, you know, EGM was on top for, for the longest time. And um, they were the first ones that I was really like, wow, this could be a real job. And um, that's kind of how I got into it. EGM discovered me. GamePro scooped me up and, you know, taught me how the industry works, gave me my first real job. And um, I've been gaming ever since, or I've been working in the game industry ever since. And my parents have been supportive all the way through. Piccadilly Dave asks, what are my thoughts on the upcoming MMO game, The Secret World? Will I be getting it when it comes out the end of this year or the start of next year? I honestly haven't heard anything on Secret World, probably because I'm not a big MMO player, probably because my PC can't handle most MMOs. Um, so, you know, Rift looked interesting to me, but when I did play it, it trashed my computer, and I know you've heard the story before, but I had to completely go back to factory default to get it to work again. And um, so I haven't touched Rift since, although I do want to play it. But I'm not a big MMO player. Usually they're a little bit too slow for me. Um, I played DC Universe Online, and I kind of got bored with that probably after my third day. So we'll see. You know, I'm always, I want to get into MMOs. That's the funny thing, is I've played so many of them, but I just can never get into any of them. I've never been really addicted, except for Star Wars Galaxies. I was so addicted to that until they ruined it. And um, so, yeah, I'm always looking for a new MMO that I can really get sucked into. Just none of them have sucked me in yet. So we'll see if this will be the one. Ty Davis asks, what's my favorite PS3 feature? Um, if we can't talk about games, because then I would say God of War, Little Big Planet, and Uncharted, and you're talking about just features, I probably have to say the Blu-ray player. I love my Blu-ray player. I, I watch movies on it all the time. That's probably my favorite feature. Other than that... I'm not a big fan of the PSN store. I think it's designed poorly. It's kind of a pain to get around in there. Or to just, there's no, you can't download free demos. I, I think PS Plus or whatever they call it can do it. I'm not paying for that service. So, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot. I, I'm not saying I don't like the PS3. I love my PS3. I just named three of my favorite franchises ever happen to be on the PS3 and not on the 360. It's just, you know, as far as shopping for more, like, arcade games, playing demos, or doing multiplayer online, I usually play with my 360. But, come on, it's PS3 is a Blu-ray, and that's awesome. Geodude101 asks if I think it'd be great if a developer could recently release a game with cute mascots but mature content, much like Conker's Bad Fur Day. I would love that. I, but, but, most developers are going to make it way too cheesy, where, kind of like Naughty Bear, that was kind of like a mature, you know, violent and stuff, but it was done really poorly, and it had cute little mascot dudes. Um, Conker's Bad Fur Day is honestly the last game, and the first, that mixed it well, where it was really mature, it looked adorable, but it wasn't too campy or cheesy. It was funny, and it was campy and cheesy at times, but not to the point where you just wanted to go, oh, come on. You know, I don't like that kind of stuff, but um, I would love to see a game, maybe maybe even as mature and as shocking as Manhunt, 
make that but adorable, I would be all over that. <laughs> Lastly, Spinzig asks if I use ROM or level editors on the PC. I do not. A, I'm not creative enough to make my own levels. I mean, every time I play Sims, all of my Sims houses kind of look pretty much the same. I don't really go go out of my comfort zone on those. I'm pretty, I stick to kind of the same layout. So that means I shouldn't be making my own levels because I'm not very creative. And most of those my PC can't run because, again, I'm on a cute little Vio laptop and it's not the most powerful thing in the world. So I really can't do much PC stuff on there. And lastly, he asks, do I play the Smash Brothers series? Of course I do. Of course I do. Growing up Nintendo, you have to be a Smash Brothers fan. And I even won a Smash Brothers tournament at e for all one year. can't remember if it was the first year or the second year. Well, guys, that is it for this week's questions. Um, make sure you send all your questions to me at rachelmore at gmail.com, and I will promise to get to them. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, which is just at the Rachel. And I look forward to talking to you guys this week in live chat, either on Ustream or Justin TV. 3 o'clock Wednesday, it's 3 o'clock Pacific time. That means it's 6 o'clock Eastern, and I believe that's 11 p.m. for anybody in England. And, um, yeah, just look forward to talking to you guys then. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm going to have to give a special little shout out to a stormtrooper who greeted me as I walked in the door on a Saturday. I saw you, you saw me, we both went, ah! You probably know that I have a huge crush on stormtroopers, and the fact that you're a stormtrooper and you watch my videos makes you awesome. So, yeah.